If you haven't noticed, my YouTube channel was taken down actually twice in the last three months. Somebody actually hacked my account stole it from me i had no access to it they had all of my videos they had my account and they could do whatever they wanted to do with it especially since youtube takes a while to get to your issues and try to help you so meanwhile these people were uploading so many japanese game show videos several times a day for several weeks so if you get notifications or get my videos on your YouTube feed, you may have noticed and wondered what was going on. Uh, so that was a big issue. Finally, I did get my channel back and I had was working on working out. There was a lot of kinks and problems with my channel. So I was working with someone with um, working with some people in YouTube to get those fixed and about two weeks into that right when things were getting fixed all of a sudden my youtube channel was taken down again and i was told that i didn't follow the community guidelines of course they're never really specific and they said i uh, i had excessive spamming and that my account was terminated and that i was never to have another youtube account not even just one to like watch things not to ever have another channel period it was just like done you're done you you totally messed up and so i went back to the other part of youtube that i had been working with to tell them that this had happened and they said you have to appeal it and go through that process and then that took months and i'm going to do a video specifically on that not necessarily for you i mean definitely you can watch it if you're interested but i want to put it out there for other youtube content creators because it was by watching some of their videos that helped me and I want to be a help to them as well. But basically how the story goes is I appealed it. It took months for them to even respond. And when they did, they just responded again saying I broke the community guidelines and standards and too bad. Basically, you don't get your channel back. It made no sense. It was like they didn't read my situation that i had written to them they just looked at my account saw the spam videos didn't even bother to see like all of these videos are in japanese and none of my other videos are these things like they didn't care they just wanted to just say i see spam videos and that's our final decision but by the grace of god somehow and there's a story behind this part too that i'm not going to go into here um that uh the person that i had been working with and the team i had been working with previously i sent them that email and said i don't know what to do because they're just not you know listening and by the next day he had come back and said your channel should be up check it make sure there's nothing wrong and right now i have my channel i don't know i mean i would like to say it's back and it's fine but at this point i'm not <laughs> I, I'm having a little trust issues just because of what happened and there's a lot still wrong with my channel that you guys can't see on the back end that I'm asking them to fix that hasn't been fixed and I didn't want to put out any videos until that was fixed but I felt an urgency to come here and give you some updates just in case just in case so we can continue our connection so that's basically what i'm coming here to tell you is in the next week i'm going to be uploading a lot of different update videos some of them you may not um may not apply to you like when i talk about my channel getting hacked although you might want to watch it just to know what happened um another one that's going to going to come up is a uh, a new rule that YouTube is enforcing that's going to be significantly um, difficult for a lot of YouTube creators when it comes to it's a child protective law and you have to mark your 
videos. Um, these are meant for children 13 or under or not. And there's a lot of fuzzy gray area with it. And a lot of YouTubers are getting really nervous and shutting down their channels because it, because it is so fuzzy, like it's not really defined well enough. Like they're saying, you know, if you have bright colors or you have sound effects or speed up your video, like anything that would attract a child, they could deem that. And you could be fined up to like $47,000 per video if they decide that that could be swung towards a child 13 or under. So people that do gaming, people that do family vlogs, people that review anything that would be like a video game or a toy or anything, art, art, people that do journals and art, like that could be construed as something for someone 13 or under. Um, it's a big deal. So I wanna talk about that too. And also I wanna talk about my updates, what's going on with me. Like when I say I'm all about the spiritual growth and the spiritual ascension, I wanna talk about that so you guys really understand what is going on on our planet right now and how it is affecting you that you may not even realize and what you can do about it. And um, I just really, I, it's my time to stand on this platform and talk at that level. Now it hasn't been my time to stand on that platform and talk at that level for years. That's how what I've been wanting to do for years. But I've always been ahead of the game and uh, ahead of most people where they're at and where their consciousness is and how much they're going to jump on this bandwagon where I am leading. It just hasn't been the time. You know, I know that a lot of the stuff that I get, like things that I've channeled from 10 years ago, is now relevant for most people when I was already doing it 10 years ago. So that's just an example, but now is my time. Now my stage is set and this is my platform and it's time for me to start talking. If this is something that is important to you, to know what's happening in this world, to know what's happening energetically, to know where we're headed and what you can do, I would suggest you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you know when I'm uploading. Now, the second part of that is, I don't know if I will stay on YouTube. I don't know with all of these things that are going on, I don't know if they'll take it down again. I don't know if with this child protection law that I'll be doing it. Like I don't need the extra hassles in my life or you know things to happen. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to go through all of my videos and try to like anything that had art or anything that had sound effects, anything like that can be an issue. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And I'm going to talk about all of these things separately in another video. This video is just kind of like a mosh posh of all the stuff that I'm going to update. So what I'm going to invite you to do for now is please go to my website. I'm going to put the link right down in the description so you can click on it. And I'm going to show you this visual picture of where you go. It's just right under my banner. It says um, get free tips or updates. And then there's just one little uh, area where you can type in your email address. And that way you'll get on my newsletter. So if something happens, like when my channel went down, I had no access to any of you. I couldn't tell you anything. I couldn't let, let you know what was going on. And this way, if anything happens with my channel, you're on my newsletter and I can send you updates from there. Now, I might be opening, some of the things I might be doing is opening up a membership site so I can host my own videos. But if I do that, that also means that I would ask for a, you know, uh, an amount for you to be a member because now if I'm hosting my videos and doing all the work, it costs money. But it's probably worth it because when YouTube takes you down, all your videos are gone. You don't have anything anymore. So it's just a safer way, but I don't know if I'm going to do the membership site. I might switch things over to Vimeo for a while, which of course that costs me money as well. I don't know what I'm going to do right now, but I am going to talk about this in future videos. And I'd love to know your comments below. If you have anything to say about any of this, I would love for you to comment down below. 
to let me know what you're thinking, what your point of view is, uh, what, you know, what you think about me going off this platform and having my own membership uh, platform and all of that stuff, whatever, you know, you might want to say, but please, I ask you to pause this video, go to my website and put your name in my email box. And I don't always send a lot of newsletters, um, but sometimes I do. I'm promoting things. Obviously, that's what my newsletter is for, is to tell you what's going on and what new things are available. So uh, I just feel like if I can get you guys on my email list, if anything happens with any of these platforms, I still can have a connection with you some way and let you know where you can find me and how you can find my updates. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it at that right now. I'll be back with another video. I probably have a good four or five videos that I'm going to be coming out with this week. So please subscribe, hit the notification uh, button, and watch those videos so you know what's going on. Okay, thank you everyone. It's great to see you again and be back on my channel and lots of love and many blessings. Let's see where this is going. Talk to you all soon. Peace out.